Hello, welcome back. I'm Ron Mullet. In the first two videos in this china cabinet build, I built the base and the drawers. Now in my next video, I'm going to be making the doors, the shelves, and the top that goes on here. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I constructed this top. It's frame and panel construction, but the panels I used a little bit different technique. I used a hand plane. It's called a rebate plane or rabbit plane. It has some slick adjustments and I think you'll enjoy seeing it in use. So stick around, let's get started. To get started on the top cabinet, I have to make the corner posts. I don't have wood that is thick enough to make it all in one piece. So what I'm gonna do this time is take two pieces of wood, glue them together. I have face grain on one side and the other side, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of eighth inch veneer and put on each side of this. Here's an example. Here is a leg I've made out of white oak. Here's the two boards that are glued together. And here is the eighth inch veneer on each side of those. After they're all glued together and planed down, I end up with face grain on all four sides. four posts for the top cabinet. After they come out of the clamps, I'll run them through the planer, get them down to the proper size, and it'll have face grain on all four sides. You don't have to have a high dollar miter gauge with built-in stops to get repeatable cuts. I cut the first post to length, laid a spacer on it, put a hook stop I've cut on the post and push them tight against the blade. Clamp the hook stop to the miter gauge and every cut after that is identical. Now I need to cut the top and the bottom rail for the top part. It needs to be straight grain to match the grain that goes up and down. So what I found is I found some straight grain along here. What I'll do is I'll cut a four inch wide strip off of here and then cut the sapwood off and then I can cut this into the pieces I need. Now I've got all four of the legs cut to length and to size and I've got my front and back rails and I've also got the boards cut out for all the door rails and styles. So now it's just a matter of getting these all cut to size and start making mortise and tenons. With the legs having face grain all the way around, this is how I mark them so that I can keep track of where they go. Here I'm cutting grooves in the rails and the posts for the side panels. I'm using a quarter inch straight cutting bit in my router table. I've cut the groove for the panels in the sides on all the rails. I've also rounded over the edge with the eighth inch round over bit. 
and now I'm going to have I'm going to round over the edges on the legs I've got them lined up here and got marks where I want the edges I want to round over these outside edges I can start the router at the very end but this inside edge right here I can't run the router all the way to the end because the rail sits in here and so I have to stop the router right here. So what I'll do is make a little tick mark and then I'll transfer that mark to all the other legs. Okay, let's see how that turned out. That in there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I like that. A little bit of sanding. Touch that up a little bit. That'll just work perfect. I've resawn, book matched, and glued back together the pieces of wood to make these two panels for the side of the top. They're a little over a quarter of an inch thick. The grooves that I made in the posts on the side are a quarter of an inch. So to make the panels fit in the grooves, I'm gonna cut a rabbit around the outside edge. I'm not gonna use a table saw, but I'm gonna use a hand plane. It's called a rabbit plane. It's a slick little plane. I'll show you how that works. So this is a rebate plane. It was originally called that. It's been changed to a rabbit plane. People still use a rebate. On it, it has a handle and the body, it has a blade that is an inch and a half wide, as is the sole. On this side, it has little cutters that are right ahead of the blade, right there, that, that uh, cut the wood before the blade gets to it, so it makes a perfect line along there. Also on this side, it has a depth of cut gauge so you slide that little fence up and down, and that will dictate the depth of cut you want. There's this little fence that goes on here. And this little fence adjusts back and forth to get the width of the rabbit. You lock that down. And then <clears throat> all you have to do is go along the edge and cut until this surface reaches this surface, and you've got a rabbit. It works great. Makes nice shavings. There we go. All the way through. The top will have two shelves. I'm going to secure the shelves on the four corner posts by drilling a hole and putting in these little brass brackets. Drill the hole, the shelf will sit on here and put a little screw in there and that will secure everything. I'm going to make these holes with the drill press that way I can make sure that they're nice and straight. It's time for some glue up. We've got the panels ready, everything ready to go. So let's get started.
there you are. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below and tell me what you're thinking. Also, check out some of my woodworking videos in these playlists. And just remember, enjoy your woodworking. I'll see you on my next one.